Hello, welcome to speed, time and distance tutorials of IndiaEDU.com. In earlier classes, we have covered problems related to speed, time, distance and then we move on to motion in a straight line. Today, we would be discussing concepts related to trains and solve some problems related to trains. Before moving to solve the examples, let, us, let me tell you that there are some points which you need to remember while solving problems. The first point is that when a train is crossing a moving object, speed has to be taken as relative speed. The concept of relative speed has been discussed in earlier class. All the rules which are applicable to relative speed will also be applicable to relative speed while solving problems on trains. The second point is that distance to be covered when crossing an object would be length of the train plus length of the object. And the basic formula from which various formulas will be derived is as d which is represented as distance equals to speed into time. Now let's suppose there is a train T and an object O. So the various denomination that we will use is ST represents speed of the train, SO represents speed of object, LT represents length of train, LO represents length of object and T represents the time. Now there can be many cases uh, while solving problems related to trains. Let's discuss those. Now there can be four cases problems in problems related to trains. The first case can be when a train is moving and it is passing a stationary object where length of that object is zero. So formula for this will be distance that is the length of the train be equal to speed into time. So distance here would be L0, LT that is length of train equal to speed of train st into time t. Now, in the second case, when a train is crossing a stationary object but the length of object is not equal to 0. Length of object is say l o. Here the formula would be length of both the objects will add up. So distance is equal to speed into time. This is a basic formula here. Distance would be Length of train plus length of object which is L of T plus L of O equal to speed of train into time T. Third case that a train is passing a moving object whose length is 0. Now in this case both these objects are moving. So there can be cases when they are moving in opposite direction and there can be cases when they are moving in same direction. So when they are moving in opposite direction, the formula would be because object's length is 0, so we will have only the length of the train that is LT is equal to speed. They are moving in opposite direction, so speed will add up. That is ST plus S of O into T. And when they are moving in same direction, the formula would be length of the train is equals to st minus so into t. Here or we can have the formula as so minus st into time t. Thus, this is the relative speed and the, if the speed of train is greater then we will use this formula. If speed of object is greater then we will use this formula. Fourth case when a train t is moving when train t is moving and object's length is not equal to 0. So in this case also we can have two points that is they are moving in opposite direction. So the total length would be length of the train plus length of object which is equal to speed of train plus speed of object into time t or when they are moving in same direction then length of train plus length of object is equal to speed of train minus speed of object into t or speed of object minus speed of train into time t. Now let's solve some examples on these 
concepts. The example says a train 140 meter long running at 72 km per hour. In how much time will it pass a platform 260 meter long? Here we need to find out the time and there is a train and a platform. Now first of all we can see that different units are used that is distance is given in meters and the speed which is 72 km per hour is given in kilometer. First of all we need to convert all these units into similar one. So let's convert this 72 km per hour into meter per hour. This will give us 